What's up, my immune friends? Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome back to Mist Survival. So today, we are going to make ourselves the biggest building in the game, and it's going to take many, many hours. Not real life hours, but game hours. Um, it's going to take a little bit of time, though. We're going to need 70 logs, 30 wood, 50 uh, nails, and 30 sticks. Honestly, the nails and sticks aren't so bad. Uh, it's just the, the logs and everything. And I do have a chainsaw, which is going to be awesome. This is the most expensive, biggest build. This is Hunting Cabin C. And we are going to put it right there. <laughs> right there. Right where I set it up. All right. So that's going to be awesome. We're going to need a lot of wood, though. So the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to come in here and we are going to repair ourselves a chainsaw. Nin, 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 nin. I don't remember what it takes to repair this thing. I know it takes this, but I don't know what else. Let's see. All right. So some nails and some components. Sounds good. I was gonna like, I was thinking to myself, man, I should go out and grab a spare chainsaw and have two uh, chainsaws because my plan is to go out in the wilderness, cut down trees with my truck in the area, and put the, you know, the logs in the lockers, come back, unload them, rinse and repeat until we've got enough logs. And I was thinking, well, I should have two chainsaws. The thing is, I think my lockers, I don't think, I'm pretty sure, I guess I do think, I'm not really sure, but I'm pretty sure, like 90% sure. That those lockers are going to fill up before this chainsaw gets damaged to the point where it's no good anymore. Um, although, although that if I go, let's say my chainsaw is 25%, do I go out again and use it? Or do I repair it at 25%? These are the questions we need answered, guys. I don't know. I, you know, I probably should have grabbed a second, a second chainsaw. It would have been better. There's just no two, two ways about it. I didn't grab one, though, because I didn't need it. But, like, I've got so much room. Why do I take stuff? Why do I not take stuff I don't need? Like... I got all I got room for days, people. Um, no, that's wrong. That's the wrong room. Here we go. I'll put that in there. Repair item. I shall do it myself. And there we go. I do have a good amount of uh, chains, but uh, I'm gonna have to do a loot run at some point because I'm gonna need more things like chains eventually. Um, what we're gonna do now is we're going to go ahead and cook some food. All right. So it looks like I'm starting to run a little little, little bit low on wood. You know, or not as much wood as I had before. So, I might start picking that up again. We'll see. I have not been. Or I've been picking it up and throwing it away because I just don't need that much of it. All right, go ahead and ignite that. Why is that at 40%? Oh, because this thing's empty. All right, that's fine. I got a lot of lighter fluid. Now, I want to take the lighter fluid with the least amount in it. So, we'll take this right here. All right. So, without the lighter fluid, you're at 50%. I wonder if you get more percentage, better percentage if you don't use paper or matches. Because this used to be 60%. Right? Without the accelerant. It used to be 60%. I wonder if that has to do with the paper or the um, the fact that I'm using a lighter. Not that it really matters because I'm going to use the accelerant anyway. But all right, so now we got that going. We're going to come in here and we are going to cook. Um, it doesn't really matter how much meat you cook. I think we'll do two two things of meat. One, two, oops. I don't know why I can't shift click that out. Three, four. Um, one... I'm looking at the ones with the lowest percentage. Two, three, and four. All right, so this is how I like to cook. But let's see how much time we have. Uh, 23 minutes. That's not going to be enough. All right, split half. Take that. Put that in there. An hour should be good. So this is how I cook meat. I put the meat on the grill stand. I make sure I can see the meat from the chair. And I sit in the chair for 10 minutes. If that meat turns color, you hit cancel. All right, and it did not. All right. So if it doesn't change color, I just sit for another five minutes at a time. And, oh, cancel. See? That's how you do it. You could basically cook meat, like, I mean, it's almost like instantly. It's not instant, instant, but it's a lot better than just standing there. So now we're going to cook these. And what, what do you think? 15 minutes? All right, watch the meat, watch the meat, watch the meat. When it turns color, there we go. I love that cancel option. It's absolutely fantastic. This used to be a lush forest until I got a hold of it. <laughs> Let's go see if we can find some more trees somewhere. I guess I, I could break up the stumps. Yeah, it might be worth it. They kind of bother me a little bit. All right, let's go ahead and grab this thing. Nah, we're going to leave the stumps. Uh, maybe I'll do them later at some point. Um, when I break up a stump, I only get one log. If I, break, if I knock down some trees, I get quite a few. Yeah, this looks like a pretty good spot. I think we're getting close to the church as well. Possibly. And I don't like the church. I mean, not in real life. I don't care about it in real life. I'm just saying in the game. 
because there's a lot of baddies there. A lot of tough baddies at the church. Freaking one one headshots ain't a thing at the church, man. They all got armor. Alright, let's go ahead and take this out. Taking the stumps out. Uh, what are we at? Um, I think we were at like 50% when I started this one. Actually, it'd be pretty cool if the whole chainsaw broke right around the time I filled up the, the vehicle. I think it's going to be close. Get that one. Do a couple more. And this one. And that one. Okay, where, where are we at? Oh, only 44%. Okay, never mind. We're going to fill up the truck way before the chainsaw breaks. Which is kind of rough, because that means when we come back out here, the chainsaw is going to be really low. Uh, I should have got a second chainsaw. That was a... Mm. I'm not going to say it was a mistake. It's not like a big deal. Like, not like a huge deal. It's just an over, a little bit of an oversight. Okay, okay. This is the best way to get logs. I used to think getting uh, getting old numb nuts to chop down the trees for me was, was a better way. And it is if you don't have a chainsaw. Because chopping down the, the trees with your, with your own two hands is kind of suck, you know? Um, but... You get Scotty Boy to do it. Scotty Boy used to be a lot better at chopping down trees, too. What you could do is you could set him up to chop down the trees and then just rest for three hours. And he would just speed run right, speed run right through chopping down all the trees. He'd be like, blah, 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 blah. All you hear is click, 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 click. And all of a sudden you wake up and there's logs all over the place. More logs than you can count. Um, I think he's messed around with that. I couldn't, I couldn't really get Scott to do that this time. Maybe he can. Maybe I just didn't. Did I try? I'm pretty sure I tried to pass time. When Scott was cutting down trees and it didn't seem to do anything, but I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Go. I gotta pick up all those little shitty things off the ground, too. Or it'll start causing serious lag anytime I come to this area. Alright, so you're full. Alright, once we fill up this one, we're getting close to the end of this trip. I've built these big cabins before. I'm gonna tell you something you might not think about when you're gonna build them. Uh, you know, you look at the big cabin, right? And you're like, oh man, I'm gonna need all these resources, right? You're like, um, look at all that wood, look at all the nails and the sticks. And, yeah, it's true, you do need those resources. I'm going to tell you right now, the biggest resource you're going to need when building a cabin like this is food. I know it sounds crazy, but um, if you think about it, it makes sense. You know, because this is going to take, what would it say, 90-something hours? Yeah, 96 hours. I have no idea how long that is, but it's like, what is that, four days, something like that? So, yeah, that is uh, going to be something. And um, you need the food to be able to do it. If you don't have the food, you're gonna have to stop and like, you're gonna have to stop in like the middle of the build and go like farm some food. I mean, you know, maybe you don't care. You're like, ah, oh, whatever, I'll go farm some food, no big deal. Um, yeah, fair enough. But just so you know, you're gonna need food unless you want to build it all in once, all in one go. I want to build it all in one go. I don't want to be going dicking around with food and stuff. Like, I just want to, you know. And I've got plenty of food. I could build a couple of these honestly if I wanted to. Um, I won't because we're gonna run out of room. But you know, it is what it is. Did I have a saw in here? Yeah, that's a saw I wanted. So I'm putting these tools in the order of, like, weakest to strongest. Because they'll be used in order, and I'm trying to get rid of some of these tools. Like, I'd rather get rid of this hammer before I start using this hammer, before I start using this hammer. Alright, save. And then we get as many... What time is it? Yeah, alright, it's early. So we get as many logs as we can hold. Now, if you put logs in this thing, when you take it out, it won't, like... Basically, you have to open up your inventory for the weight to count. So if you take these logs out of here... Actually, I don't even know if opening your inventory does it. No, it doesn't. You have to go into another inventory in order for that weight to count. So right now, it doesn't count. But if I go into another inventory, it will. So we're going to go ahead and save the game. And then we are going... Oh, it doesn't take a saw. Okay. I thought it would take a saw. All right. Fair enough. We will get rid of the saw. Hey guys, look, we're less than 90 hours to go. And my weight is now 150 of 65. So, yeah, these things are uh, these things are no joke. Oh, hold on. Stop. Okay, do I have anything on me? No. I don't have anything on I'm looking for stuff that's going to be on me that is going to degrade in the cold or in the wet in the rain, in the cold, wet rain, but windy rain, however you want to say it. Um, but it's fine. And what I'm going to do now is, since we have a little break here, I am going to eat some food. And I'm going to drink some drink, and then I'm going to save the game and get back to work. The reason you save the game all the time is because a mist can come in at any point and kill you. Um, you could be like, work, 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 and then all of a sudden it's misty, maybe you don't notice. And possibly one of the um, infected will come in and tear you apart. And because the game's on fast forward, yeah, I mean, like, you'll just die really quickly. Now, 
I'm pretty sure I could recognize a mist and, and stop before it. And even if I can't, I'm also pretty sure that infected will not spawn inside of my base. But I'm not 100%. Oh, by the way, when I say like four days, I'm talking four days working all around the clock. You have to sleep for at least eight hours. So, um, you know, and maybe even do other things. So you're only getting about 12 to 14 hours worth of work. So it's not really going to be four days. It's going to be more like a week. It started getting dark out here. So I went ahead and put some lights up. So we'll be able to see what we're doing. And that should make things a lot more, a lot less scary for old KG48. Was I scared? No, I wasn't scared. Um, yeah, actually, I was scared. I was scared of making dark videos. Don't like that. All right, so let's go ahead and take the rest of these. All right, and we're just going to work until... Basically, what I do is I work until my fatigue gets so low that I start losing health. And then I continue to start losing health. Also, a good way to like deal with your hunger and thirst during this process, just don't eat or drink. Wait until your health gets down to around... You know, it, you can let your health get down till you feel comfortable where it's at. Um, I usually let my let my health get down about three quarters before I eat, drink, or sleep. Um, and I'm probably going to have to do all three pretty soon. So there we go. So we are dehydrated. We are starving. Fatigue's getting low. And our hit points are starting to drop. But that is A-OK -okay by me. All right. So take as much as we can and continue. Yeah, I mean, three quarters, a half, a quarter, whatever you feel comfortable with. I usually don't let it. I usually don't like to lick it down too low because if I do get attacked by some infected, I'll just die a lot quicker. You know, so I don't. I don't want to do that. Although, guys, I'm. I'm a very superstitious person. All right, I'm not. I'm not superstitious, but I'm a little stitious. No, um, I'm. I'm a very superstitious person, and I don't want to say this because I feel like I'm going to jinx myself. But I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, I don't think. I don't think the infected can spawn inside my base. So. Um, did I actually get enough logs in one go? Uh, what do I need? Oh, yeah, 23 left. Well, we still need 30 wood, but I mean, honestly, I already have some wood. I think I got enough logs in one go. That's kind of amazing. I thought I'd have to go out again. That Yeah, I mean, going out there with a chainsaw on the truck is just... It's just ridiculous. It's so good. <laughs> it doesn't really matter where you build. A lot of times where I, when I build somewhere, I... Do I have anything that's going bad? No. A lot of times when I build somewhere, one of the things I think about is, well, are there a lot of trees in the area, right? And uh, that's not something that really matters if you get the chainsaw on the truck with a bunch of lockers. And, you know, honestly, like, I've seen the chainsaw like three or four times now. It might take you a little bit of time to get it, but you'll definitely get it if you keep going and looking in the right spots. All right, I think I'm going to sleep through tonight. So let's just go ahead and finish up what we got on us. All right, come on. All right, there we go. And then we are going to run inside. We're going to have some dinner. We're going to have some drink. We're going to make merry. Well, there's no one to make merry with, but... Um, oh, boy. 50%. Oh. See, maybe starving myself really doesn't matter because this food's just going to go bad anyway. I could always uh, I could always dry it out if I need to. So it's not really that big of a deal. It's kind of weird. Um, this The cooked meat was way lower than the raw meat, and now the raw meat's catching up to it. Uh, I'm done, like, sciencing this shit, though. Like, whatever. It is what it is. We're just going to leave it where it is. But, um, yeah, I think it's kind of messed up right now, to say the least. The developer has got uh, their work cut out for them. So, no reason for this to be on while we sleep. So, let's go ahead and sleep through the night. Got another mist here. Oh, I thought I'd shared something. Did I hear something? Oh, look at all the logs stacked up. That's freaking cool. I can actually... Can I climb up here? No. Yeah. I thought I heard something, but I don't know. I'm not seeing anything, so I guess I'm just going to ignore it. All right. Sounds good. My generators are like... Well, my one generator is completely out of power. And the other one's almost at, almost out of power because I've got them going like the whole freaking night. So, you know, whole day and night, that's going to do that to a generator. We are 33... 32 hours away, people. We are 32 hours away. We're getting there. And we are just about done here. This should do it. Hell yeah, man. Under three hours. Here we go. I'm so excited, too. It's under two hours. One hour. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Beautiful. All done. All right, so let's check this place out. Yeah, look at this. Look at it. Oh, what is... Oh, that's... um, That's the thing in the back. It comes through the ceiling. That's not anything I did wrong. It's just part of the build. It has an almost wraparound deck, which is, well, it's only half, I guess. And if you go uh, look in the back, it should have a little back area. Yep. 
All right, so this this came a little bit screwed up here. N again, nothing I did wrong. It's just the way it is. So we'll come up here. Come up here. Yeah, the, it's kind of messed up a little bit. We won't use up here. Maybe I'll use it for some... I don't know. If I, if, I, if I can think of something, I'll use it up here. But you might be wondering, Cage, why did you make this monstrosity? Why did you make this huge freaking thing? Um, I have a plan. But you guys are going to have to wait next video to see it. Uh, yeah, I definitely have a plan for this place. But I'm going to make you come back. Come back next time. Video's not over yet, but just letting you know. Come back next time. I will have something um, to do in here. It's going to be awesome. All right, I think for the rest of the video, we're going to go do some looting. Um, I'm feeling a little cooped up here. A little, um, you know, getting a little, uh, yeah, cooped up. Get a little cabin fever, I guess, even though technically I'm outside. But I want to go out there and do some looting. So let me get organized, and we're going to go loot something. We're going to loot something, people. All right, let's get on out there. We're going to be looking for the lure today. I think I have an idea where it is. A lot of people have been telling me. Um, so we're going to go see if we can find it. Um, also, just to make sure it's there. There we go. Now, is there only one place to find the lure in the game? Everyone who was telling me where to find it all told me the same spot, I think. Um, so, I don't know. Oh, people said you can get the lure off the traders. The problem is the traders are broken AF. I mean, they're, you know, they're basically useless now. Which is a bit of a shame. Some people say that the traders get broken when you rescue Rachel, I believe. I don't know why that would be. I don't know if there's some kind of game reason behind it. Or if there's like, um, you know, like a lore reason. Or if there's a game reason where it's just broken. Maybe it bugs out the game. When you save her, I have no idea. Gotta watch it. There's some baddies over here. Alright. We got by him. Cool. Cool. Alright, so one of these houses down here has the lure. I don't remember exactly which one. We're gonna check this house right here. This looks like a house that would have a lure in it, doesn't it? Yeah, I think so. I think this is a house that would have a lure in it. It looks like a lure type of house. How many times can I say lure? Let's take a look around. Am I going to pick up everything and destroy stuff? Yeah, I think I am. I think I will do that. Uh, grab that. Ooh, more lashings. It's beautiful. All right, any baddies in here? I don't hear anybody. Eh, I don't think so. Alright, I don't think I should even bother looting cabinets anymore. Because they definitely don't respawn stuff, and I think I've looted just about every one. So we're just looking for stuff on the ground or on tables or whatnot. Uh, yeah, let's pick up all these. Okay, I'm not seeing a lure. I will do a... I'll take a pencil and see where I am. Just to get, kind of get an idea. Um, oh, there it is! Two of them! Yay! Two lures! So in case you're wondering why I'm looking for a lure, it's for my fishing pole. My fishing pole is not looking too good right now um, because of the lure. I've got four rods, four reels, four lines at home, and no lures. So now I have two lures. So um, I'm going to mark the spot just so I can see it uh, with a pencil so I can come back here and get those lures. As far as I know, it's the only place you can get lures. Like I said, some people said that I really have to stop saying lures. <laughs> some people said you can get them from the uh, car crashes, but again, those are kind of like bugged. So. Uh, oh, I'll take some feathers. Always take feathers, people. Every freaking... Oh, did I drop this stuff? I must have dropped this stuff. <laughs> it wouldn't just be a pile of shit on the ground there. That's definitely like I was there and I dropped it. Probably I went to fill this stuff up. When you shift-click stuff into an inventory, if it's full, the stuff just starts dropping all over the floor. Oh my god. And like all of these are different percentages now. So they don't stack. Get the Fuck out of here with that. There we go. Take that. And clean it up the town. Clean it up the town, people. That and that. And debt. And it looks like we're just about done in this building. So let's go over to this one. Why not? We'll just run there. We seem to be okay with uh, inventory. How's my... Um, yeah, 39%. We're good. We are good to go. Alright. Oh, okay. I see. This is, a, this is a nice place. Not gonna lie. It's a nice place. Nice place he got here. Yeah, nice place he got here. What the fuck is that? Nice place he got here. Be ashamed if something were to happen to it. 
Oh, there's something in there. Alright, I'm gonna use my pistol on these guys. Because I have so much pistol ammo. I'm trying to get rid of it. It's basically useless. So if I can use it to kill these guys, I will. Well, let's pick up everything we can first. Oh, there's another fishing rod. Okay. I'm like, something in the water. Can you, like, hear the fish? I hope that's fish in the water. You never know with this game. I've seen bears, like, run into the water. Like, it, like it ain't nothing. I've killed them in the water. I've, I've butchered them in the water. <laughs> we need a name for this pistol. A name that signifies or explains how useless this thing is. Like, how bad this pistol is. Ugh. Piece of crap pistol. I don't know. We gotta think of a name for it. Come over here. Can I get up there? Hold on. Hold your horses. Ooh. I feel like I can make that. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I should have made that, but hold on. Let's check from this end. Nah. Okay, forget it. Man. <laughs> what a piece of shit. Yeah, don't even, like, try and kill him in less than, like, how was it hold? Eight rounds? Just use all eight rounds. Like, don't even... Don't even play. Unless you just want... Ooh, two for two. Unless you just want to get hit. Got him in the head there. Lucky I did, too. Holy... Whoa! Did he do something with the drop rate on these things? Or am I just getting incredibly lucky? Just go play the lottery. Alright, that's outside. Nobody in there. Nobody in there. Okay, cool. Alright, we'll just use like half our pistol rounds, but whatever. Like I said, they're not good for anything. I mean, honestly, I wouldn't even say they're good for these guys, but... Um, they're really useless for anything else. Alright, I don't think there's anything in here, though. Just a bunch of... Dirty infected... Alright, nothing there. Not seeing nothing there. Alright, fair enough. Alright, cool. Let's look for another house to loot. So this is the loot I'm walking away with so far. I just trashed everything else. Not too bad. There's some really key shit in here. Those lures and these electronic parts make this an incredible loot run. Especially considering it's only like a third of the video. It's crazy. Now let's check out this house up here. I don't think there's any more effect in any of these houses though. Uh, feathers, yes. Definitely take those feathers. Take these for garbage. Uh, something else over here, alright. I should probably keep some of that firewood, actually, because I do need fuel. Or I'm getting low on fuel. Depends on what the percentage is. Okay, it's 100%. Alright, I'll hold on to that. Because, like, this is eight of them only taking up one spot. If they were all different percentages, it's just awful. I think of like eight different spots and I'm just destroying it because I can't deal with it. Okay. That's right, we're supposed to be taking everything. Better take everything I can! Always listen to Lewis. Lewis is always right. Lewis is wise. Lewis is God. I don't see anything there. Alright, let's go inside. What do we have here? Can anybody think of the... the Movie character I'm thinking of when I say that. No, actually, let me read. Let me redo it. That wasn't the exact quote. It was, "Well, looky what we have here." Uh, right. Look, if there's anything else here. All right, fair enough. Let's get back to base. So this is the total run. That's a hell of a run. Hell yeah. Alright, so what are we going to be doing with this? You guys let me know in the comments. Why did I build this? What am I going to be using it for? Why did he build it? Huh. What's he using it for? I think that's how this. I think that's how the song goes. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Because next episode, we will be putting this thing to use. Alright guys, I am going to call this one here. If you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.